The Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre brings together 10 leading research and clinical institutions in a unique and powerful alliance, working together to control and cure cancer. In many ways, the PICI Awards reflect the principles that underpin the Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre's work, innovation, excellence and leadership. The PICI Awards recognise and support future leaders in cancer research within the VCCC Alliance. These are high-performing students whose work has demonstrated their ability to produce high-impact research and their potential as future leaders and thinkers in their fields. The awards recognise their achievements to date and give them an opportunity to travel internationally to learn, build networks and begin to contribute on the world stage. We are most grateful to the Picky Foundation for their generous ongoing support of this award, which really is an investment in future potential. It will be exciting to see where these talented young people lead us. My name is David Liu. I'm one of the PhD clinician researchers in the Cancer Biology Surgical Oncology Research Laboratory here at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. I spent the last four years here in the laboratory with the aim of trying to develop better treatment strategies for patients with esophageal cancer, which is a disease that has very poor survival outcomes due to late presentation and also ineffective treatment options. My team and I have spent the last four years developing treatment strategies to target esophageal cancer with P53 mutation. Mutation in the P53 gene is associated with very poor outcomes in this cancer type. We've had a very good success in the lab in targeting the Achilles heel of this particular tumour and these results will be excitingly translated into clinical trials next year. The success of this research has really been the culmination of collaborative efforts within the VCCC consortium and also with partners nationally and internationally. I feel incredibly honoured to be one of the recipients of the PICI Award. This award has allowed me to travel to Amsterdam to present my research findings. In addition, um, I'm able to participate in a cutting-edge surgical symposium from which the skills I can bring back to Melbourne to treat patients with esophageal cancer. I'm Daniel Cameron. I'm doing my PhD in the Papenfuss lab of the Bioinformatics Division at WEHI with my PhD being run through the Department of Medical Biology at Melbourne University. A core part of my PhD is writing software to detect genomic rearrangements from sequencing data. So within the cancer context, cancer genomes can be very highly rearranged, which result in a number of fusion genes. Now these genes are made up of components of half of one protein being connected to another protein, which changes the function of those proteins, and some of these mutations actually drive a number of cancers. So being able to detect these fusion genes will be able to improve the treatment outcomes by giving targeted drugs that target those fusion genes. My tool also has clinical relevance. We're in the process of incorporating my genomic rearrangement detection method into the standard cancer sequencing pipeline at PETAMAC. And the method's applicable more generally. So in conjunction with the 11 Newton-John Cancer Research Centre, we've developed a patient-specific biomarker for detecting early relapse using these structural variants. Winning the PICI Award has been fantastic. It's given me the opportunity to present my work internationally and to visit a number of labs overseas. And when discussing my work with other researchers, it looks likely that my techniques will be incorporated into standard variant analysis pipelines worldwide. The Picky Brothers Foundation is very proud to be associated with the VCCC program of prizes for PhD research students. The program is the inspiration of one of our board members, Professor Mark Rosenthal, who was a recipient of such a prize when he was a young student. He travelled overseas and met elite researchers and came back to Australia inspired. There have been six prizes awarded already and from an initial prize of one, we have grown to three annual prizes, one for lab-based research, one for clinical research, and one for population-based research. The Foundation is committed to these awards continuing. We hope they will be an enduring legacy of the Foundation. We want to beat cancer, and these awards could lead to a breakthrough.